Let's take a run to the Options menu to get the most out of our computer and out of contact. This is the main Options menu. It's divided into eight tabs. Here, we have options that change the look and behavior of Contact's user interface. If you've patched up to the latest version of Contact, you should see the Reset Size button. Since you now have the ability to resize the contact window using this bottom right corner, here, you also have the ability to reset the size of the window to its default shape. Next, this option, if enabled, will make Contact's virtual on-screen keyboard highlight keys that trigger zones or key switches in your currently selected instrument with different colors. We saw this in the previous chapter with the cello ensemble. You'll see the usefulness of this again later when we look at the various instruments that allow you to toggle between articulations with a single MIDI key press. Auto Refresh Browser simply makes the browser periodically check your file system for changes and picks them up by itself without requiring you to refresh it manually. Let's leave this one on. Depending on your reading preference, you may want to increase the font size of the text and labels within contact. Or change the language to either German, French, Japanese, or Spanish. I'll leave it set to automatic to choose the language based on my operating system settings. Next up, there's the Engine tab. Here, we begin to get into the details of how contact's audio engine will operate. Here, you can switch between two default output volume values for new and imported instruments. This also becomes the value that volume sliders and dials will snap to when reset. Next is CPU overload protection. In very rare cases, when the number of instruments and samples that they play reaches the maximum that your computer can handle, the Contact 4 audio engine can choke and be rendered unusable temporarily. This scenario can be avoided with the overload protection mechanism, which allows contact to stop playing some of those sounds when the CPU load gets critical. You can choose between relaxed, medium, and strict, each with an increasing sensitivity which will cut off sounds well before the CPU has a chance to become overloaded. I'm running a quad-core system, as you can see in this next option, so I'm not going to worry about CPU overload protection for now. As you can probably already tell, you can use this drop-down to set the maximum number of CPUs that Contact will utilize. If you want Contact to use only one CPU, or if you only have one, choose off. Next, this drop-down menu allows you to choose which kind of MIDI events will be sent to Contact's MIDI output ports. You can pick any combination of these. You can choose between GUI keyboard which means MIDI events are generated when you click on Contact's virtual on-screen keyboard. You can also output MIDI controller events, or CCs, and notes that originate from running scripts, as well as incoming MIDI events and notes that come into Contact 4, to have them sent back out, perhaps to another device in your studio or live hardware rig. Then there's the Offline Interpolation Quality dropdown. This option allows you to specify the interpolation quality setting to be used during offline bouncing and freezing that's different from the one specified in the source modules of your instruments. Moving on, there's the Handling tab. This tab is comprised of settings to do with an assortment of MIDI and instrument functions. Enable this button to use your computer keyboard to trigger MIDI notes for the currently selected instrument. And this value field adjusts the velocity of notes that can be triggered by your computer keyboard. As usual, the MIDI velocity range goes from 1 to 127. We'll look at this feature, as well as others like it, in the Tips and Tricks chapter later on. The solo switches determine what contact will do when you attempt to activate the solo button on more than one instrument. In place will only allow one instrument to be soloed at any time so any other one will be muted, whereas Latch will let you switch more than one instrument into solo mode. 